as you can guess from the green screen background, uh, we're playing some more bar. Um, I have been in this game. We're not starting a new one. I've been in this game for quite a while now. It's been a very um, tense battle. We, I, we're playing 2v2s with AI, um, different kinds of AI. We're actually playing with the Barbarian AI. Um, there's a lot going on right now. We have claimed roughly the middle of the map. We are trying to push out. We are pushing out a little bit, but we're losing units as we're doing it. So I'm trying to keep up with um, production and making sure we're not losing too many. So basically every push up, I just kind of line them up and halt for a while and then wait for more units to catch up to the battle. And then we continue to push forward. Um, I can't tell if we're winning or losing. We made a major push just now, just before this video started. By the way, I mean the AI and I, my teammate AI. We made a little bit of a push forward because they were attacking. They don't have a lot of, they didn't have a lot of troops attacking. I had a crap ton that had just wiped out a whole army. So I'm pushing my army up now to go and um, essentially return some fire. Um... I'll show you what I mean. There's a lot going on in this fight right now, but we have a lot of, um, yeah, we're going to call you back. We have a lot of death going on right now. Um, but yeah, so I finally figured out how to draw lines because I saw, I, I was actually watching some multiplayer games and I was just like, how the heck did they do that? And then I click dragged and I was like, ah, that's how. Uh, same with building multiple. We have lots of windmills going on right now. We are literally just building off of tier 1 units right now. Um, due to the amount of fighting going on, I have not been able to tech up. And due to the amount of loss that we've actually had to deal with, I have not been able to tech up. But yeah, so right now we're actually able to hold off many of the army that's coming in right now. As we can see up top, uh, there's a lot of army up there to deal with. There's a lot of army here. But, uh, I'm pretty sure we can probably handle that. I mean, it, it seems like we're doing okay. Um, I have a lot of Rocketeers, I have a lot of other things going on, but... Primarily, we're just trying to hold off, once again, this line. Because this line's being very, um... Yeah, it's being very, um not not fun this line that we're holding um but yeah so we made a push up the field we destroyed some things like there was like two or three things here um those had to get destroyed because they just kept pushing from that angle um now i have to try to survive this other angle while my teammate has way more map control than i do um and actually i'm losing units now faster than i am gaining so this is a problem i might have to lose this area for now we'll see i'm gonna try my best to hold off actually i think they just retreated as well not too sure what's going on here but yeah i'm in like a very tough situation right now where i have to like oops that's not what i wanted where i have to kind of keep stomp it, it seems like every time i get radar the whole situation just gets worse and then as soon as that radar is gone like i i make moves up the field but right now it's just it's going terribly for us but if i can kill one of these two freaking yeah that'd be great like sheer numbers are not winning us this battle right now i don't even know do we have tier two over here happening yeah um, so my AI buddy has tier 2 stuff happening, which I should get going, because we do have that, in fact. Uh, doopity doo doo. And, uh, I need you up where these guys are. I'm gonna see if I can't reclaim any of these dead bodies, because there are lots of them. But yeah, we were trying to defend down here, but then the AI decided its primary objective would be to attack all of this stuff. And uh, ever since, there's been lots of dead bodies. Robots, but still. And uh, I can't believe we ran out of this queue. That's fine. This fight just keeps happening. 
It never stops. And like, I do have a line of troops coming in, but that stopped because I didn't have more queued up yet. Okay. I think we are disasterly close to losing. We did have a couple of good pushes, though. Like, we destroyed some of this stuff, but it seems like it's all pretty much just back now. And the army is like a thousand times bigger than it was when we won that push, which was not that long ago either. But this game has been going on for 30 minutes. It's been a rough one. Um, but yeah, I've been, I've been watching lots of YouTube videos. I watched a couple of... Um, God, you need to see these multiplayer matches because I I love them. I love watching them more than I do playing them. It's just so amazing to see different strategies, but I'm pretty sure I'm fucked now. I'm gonna see if I can't run away, but I don't. I don't think I can. Uh, these guys are just going on a suicide mission right now. But yeah, like it's actually really cool because I didn't know that you could do. Uh, like a lineup of these guys, I didn't know you could just tell them to line up like that. So uh, it's kind of it's it's really nice that that that's a feature. Cause like I, I was watching multiplayer battles and they would be like, yeah, no, we're just gonna put a line here uh, of troops. And I was like, how the hell do you get that stacked so neatly? I was like clicking around like crazy, and then I like realized there's a bunch of arrows showing up. And then I was like, oh, <laughs> you you just right click, and then that's done. They didn't even destroy all of this yet. Oh, I think green is doing some, some stuff. I know green's my teammate, and that could be any of my teammates because, yeah, but I only have one teammate, so. We lost all of the fucking mineral production. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I think we're safe to push up again. I hope. I hope we're safe to push up again. Find fame, uh, Famous last words. We're just gonna do some lining up. Oh, but they're building here now. My radar is still there. Maybe we're not dead yet? I don't even know. That healing bot's not there anymore, right? I think I sacrificed that by accident. Okay, well, we're gonna try building some stuff again. I'm gonna try to take back some of what was ours is no longer yeah and then we need to get this to go back out there um but yeah so i built it so that these all support that kind of thing um i i realized that's kind of what people were doing with the construction towers mostly um, and then, like, some people, it, it's really weird, like, there's so many different solutions to different building problems, but, like, some people build multiple construction things and then just let them take care of whatever, and then some people have, um, two to a normal one, three to a, a tier two, um, and then they'll have a bunch of random ones in the middle that aren't selected to anything, so sometimes they'll help out the factories, and sometimes they'll be building whatever you ask it to build, um, but, like, otherwise, it's just so cool. <laughs> There's a lot in this game, and it keeps going. Um, and then I read I read some more of the guide stuff to see if it would help me much. It, it kind of did. It helped me understand some stuff, like the starting bit. Um, although I have a weird, different starting bit, but that's fine. Oh, okay, so we're making another push-up, it looks like. Okay, this time I won't be useless, hopefully. I mean, last time I was the one that carried it, but... What? Where? Oh no, they're attacking from down below now? Are you kidding me? I can't even help defend, I'm sorry. I have some other things I have to attend to. Because we're going to lose too many things now. Are you kidding me? Like, these freaking assault guys. Oh, he's just going to walk into a turret, that's fine. Yeah, no, that's that's okay. Yeah, walk into that turret. We're going we're gonna to claim these back, though. Because, yep. I don't need those. Um, are we not pushing anymore? What happened? Oh, they fell back. Okay. They, they fell back onto my position. That's fine. But yeah, now I don't have enough supply for the fucking resources I need. Oh yeah, and they're on tier 2 stuff now. We're probably screwed, and by probably, I mean we're absolutely screwed. I am losing all my units.
You know, part of me figured that, like, numbers would mean more, but Tier 2 units versus Tier 1 units, just absolutely, like, if you don't have any Tier 2 stuff, you're just screwed. And, uh, I might actually lose my mech here. What just happened? Oh, my commander was being attacked, I see. Yeah, no, that's not that big of a... Those things have some really good fire range. But yeah, like, they have tanks and stuff. I can't really compete all that well. I know I have some green stuff here too, which is nice, but I only have like four units here. Three. Four. I have four. No, now it's three. <laughs> now it's actually three. We will defend this position with our lives. He has been significantly, or the AI has been significantly more successful in things. Um, yeah, like, the AI will do stuff like this, which is fine, but, um, yeah, usually, usually people put, like, two to three for their factories, which I, I didn't even really think about, to be honest. I didn't even, because I know you could target it, but I hadn't thought of it. What kind of bot is he using? It's not a fast Raider Ball. What the hell are these? Fat Boy. Excuse me? Oh, these ones! Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't have enough metal for that. And we're getting attacked again. Um. Oh, Frickin', of course you're going to attack that stuff. Yeah, between trying to deny each other from having resources, it's, it's hectic. Um, and the community actually seems really nice. Like, there were a couple of new people on that. Well, it was on the European server. There is nobody playing in America. Um... <laughs> whatsoever there is no people i i was honestly astonished i was just like where the hell are all the american people oh i'm dead yeah i probably should have been paying attention to that um but yeah we that's kind of nice though because we're playing in a a 2v whatever we can still do things as long as we have building bots and stuff the heck is that oh it's sniper yeah hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure I'm dead. I never tiered up, which is kind of an issue. Although I was too busy trying to claim these and try to protect them, and then it didn't work. What are they building here? Gauntlet, huh? They put down construction turrets and everything. What the heck? <laughs> they have, like, they have a couple of turrets, different types of turrets here, same with here. They have, like, a very similar setup to the AI. No kidding. Never mind. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally just telling these people to commit suicide right now. That's not ideal. Yeah. There's a lot of... A lot of stuff... I also don't know, I don't think I'm missing an update, because I think the game would have told me by now. Um, I probably wouldn't have been able to join any of the multiplayer games. Yeah, we're, we're losing this position. I can't do anything against that. It's just nothing but explosions, that's a spike ball. Um, 
Yeah, and I can't do anything against it now because I'm not earning enough resources. So let's try to see if we can't pick off a sniper, I guess. Oh, there's more than one. And those explode. They're like banelings. Yes, I compare a lot of this stuff to StarCraft. I'm sorry. I never even got a glimpse of them. Yeah, I'm pretty much screwed anyway. <sighs> My aggression level was three. Yay. <laughs> No idea if that's a good thing or not. I did not produce nearly as much metal. I did not have as much excess, though. I had... Well, I had a bad run. <sighs> okay, well... I died, so I'm gonna count that. Anyway, it was a very epic game. I, I learned a little bit... Oh, correction. I learned a lot between now and the last episode. By the way, the last episode was... When did I upload that? When did that get uploaded? It's not 46 minutes ago. Okay. Hello. Two hours ago. <laughs> two hours ago was the last video. In two hours, I went from whatever the hell I was in that to this. And um, literally all it was was I watched a couple of multiplayer games... I learned a couple of things about building around and um, what kind of units do really good um, in, in standard of like having a lot of them. Um, it's it's really fun. It, it's difficult for sure, but it's really fun. Also, I said there were no Americans on. There are a fair amount of Americans and Canadians on. However. When you look at the American servers, it's all EU. And even, well, yeah, it's all EU right now. And I don't think, maybe we maybe we can find some Canadians. No, there's some Russians. <laughs> no Russians were into RTS too much, to be honest. Um, oh, no, no, okay, no, I see one. I, okay, never mind, I found all the Americans. Um, <laughs> in, in a full lobby, of course. So, yeah, no, it's actually really awesome, this game. I like it a lot. Um, I wonder, because I, I obviously can't play it. Oh, okay, yeah, everyone's spectating this one. What, what does this look like? So, this game is notorious for, for this. But uh, I think I have this map. I don't think it would have let me join otherwise. <laughs> um... Oh yeah, I also finished downloading all the maps. At least I downloaded the files over because I, I yeah, I was um, I, I realized that I'm probably fairly limited on what I have for content, so I downloaded everything. <sighs> okay, what's going on? The, so what the game does is because this game has been going on for a while, it like super speeds, it warp speeds, and I was like, there's no way in hell people are playing this fast. But this is a uh, this is an eight eight eight, I think. Um, so what's going on in this game? We have... We have a lot of people here. Hey, there's Pix artists. <laughs> They're not part of Pixstat, uh, Pixel Static, I promise. <laughs> it's a completely different thing. Um... Your mom. <laughs> Great. Uh, Master Bell. Holy crap, there's a lot of people in here. Gondor or no Grandor damn it. I thought that <laughs> I was, You know Lord of the Rings up in here. What just exploded? Oh That was their mech. How did that happen? You can revive the mech Oh No, they just took it for energy never mind Um. Okay, yeah, so there's lots of battling going on now um, this is still in the past. We I have no idea how far we are into the how far they are actually into this But like you can see the matches get pretty intense. So there's this person up here who just put a wall here um, Which is actually pretty smart and then you have 
people I okay, are there people at my skill level playing this doing things around here? I assume blue might be my skill level or are they just doing the farming for their team? They might be new to this. <laughs> they might be new to this. I don't know. We're looking at master. Oh, well, maybe not. I don't know. I have no clue. I have no I'm, answer is I have no clue. Um all I do know is that things get pretty epic really quickly and people do like spam one type of unit like um or or two types of units I guess in this case. But yeah, I love this unit. This unit is fantastic. Um absolutely one of my favorite units to do um because you know, far away they do like explosion blasts and then up close it's like anyway this gets really crazy really quickly as you probably can tell there's a lot of battling going on here this is a standoff right now um and then over here there's some claiming going on and, and things happening so there's a lot it's not very limited on anything hey i switch back over to that point of view um it's a lot like it is it is legitimately a lot there is a ton that goes on in these games and uh this is probably the mode i would use for casting although i really wish i really wish this was a little more streamlined i know the ui is being worked on or at least i'm pretty sure it is if i read that correctly um but for like people who cast that would be beneficial i feel um it still hasn't slowed down so they're probably going on for maybe an hour now uh anyway point being well actually we can check how long has this been going on? I thought it tells you. Uh, okay, maybe it doesn't. <laughs> I thought it did. Anyway, um, so yeah they've been going on for a while i think now it's no it's still going a little quick okay um but yeah so things get hectic really quickly like really really quickly i wonder actually would it be smart for the backline people to do air instead of like thinking strategically right because you're you're at the very back line you're not going to be able to get troops super fast out if you had like a bunch of bombers or or something and you just swap like if all of your um frontline teammates are making a line of defense of like troops you just like bomb everything that might work potentially i don't know what this person's doing but they do have air so they they could do that i'm not sure what they're doing but I, the, like they could do like i i thinking off of the bat anyway um so Multiplayer games are hectic. Um, they get really busy really quickly. There's a lot of stuff that goes on. Um, and from what I've seen, people are pretty accepting of new people. And will typically try to help you out as best as they can. Um, which is really nice. I like that. Anyway, that's all. Um, the only comment I have to make left, really, so far, is that the devs are freaking awesome. Um... And I, I mean that because, like, I was looking at some YouTube videos, stuff from, like, days ago, months ago, whatever, from people that I, I'm not sure are the devs, but, like, from a lot of people. And, um, it, it's so interesting to me because they comment and they talk to people. And, and I'm, I'm genuine about this, okay? This is the type of thing I want Pixel Static to do. Um, it is such an important thing. In video game development and I'm absolutely sure these people agree since they're doing it being a video game developer and this is what I absolutely dislike about AAA title uh, title developers like EA Ubisoft um, you, you know 343 technically uh, anything like that where the community is shouting at them for something and they just ignore it like um, flat out ignore it they don't even interact with people unless they're super famous and playing their video games but these guys i have no idea how they found my channel 
no no idea. I don't know if they just like go on YouTube every now and then they look up um you know beyond all reason and then they find videos on it. And actually, I don't even know about that because my first video is just called this game is beyond all reason. Not necessarily, you know, that's the title of it. That is the title conveniently enough, but you know, I could be just saying like this game is beyond all reason. But no, they found my channel. They talked to me. We had a discussion, you know, they gave me tips, they gave me, like, uh, information about the game. It's just so nice to have developers out there, and, and I know most small gaming companies do this, or, or most small video game development crews do this. Um, but it, it, it is necessary to talk to your community, even if it's not, like, because I don't think I've seen many people asking for anything, and honestly, I have nothing to ask for out of this game. It's amazing so far. Um, it's just nice to see developers talking to their community, even if it's not just like, oh yeah, we'll implement that, or we plan on implementing that, or whatever. It's, it's just nice to see them having a conversation with the people that buy the game, or wishing them luck with their video game, in my instance. Anyway, that's, that's a me thing. That's not in general. <laughs> um... Yeah, no, it was awesome. It was so awesome to see. Also, another thing we need to talk about. That video, that first initial video, that this was my, basically my first actual legitimate reaction to Bar. Got two likes and 30 views in a day. <laughs> Can we talk about that? That is, as of recently, that is unheard of. And, uh, anyway, that's all. This one's actually gonna be short. I just wanna say thank you to the devs, if they're watching, for making such an amazing game and being, um, so interactive with the community. I really appreciate it on my end, anyway. Um, especially, you know, with the tips and things that you guys have given me, or at least one of you have given me. And, uh, yeah, no, it was really awesome. Keep up the good work. This game's awesome. I see a bright future for it. I really hope this succeeds. This could be the game that brings back RTS. I know that sounds weird, because RTS is still decently big, but it's not at the same time. So this could be the game that does it in, that could bring it back, to bring it back to life from what it was. Um, but anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed. I will see you all later. Goodbye.